Hello and welcome to this guide. Um, what we're doing here is essentially using the fractionators um, using four stacked um, hydrogen and proliferation. Um, so we're, we're going to take a look at that uh, and now I wish we could be continuously producing but it's just that you know the hydrogen isn't coming quite at the rate that I'd like it to come uh, but you know we're doing research to improve that. Now, normally the challenge with these fractionators um, is that you have to draw a return line, but you can see there's no return line. How did you do that? Well, and why are you doing that? So the reason for it is that um, the these fractionators, they just operate on the basis of however much material you can push through them, right? So if you're able to push through, like we are right here, a four stack of proliferated hydrogen, well, they're going to be producing a lot of deuterium from that. Um, like you can see that it's actually producing nearly 7,000, well, it's fractionating 7,000 per minute, and then 2% of that is actually going to um, deuterium, right? Um, when by default it could only fractionate, like if it was one stack, it would be fractionating a lot less. Um, so, the reason that it's actually going at 2% is also because we've applied the um, proliferate here, the Mach 3 proliferate um, right here to it as well, which is why it's going from 1% to 2%. Um, okay, so then you might say, well, how is this all working? Why is the hydrogen not getting jammed up? Well, we'll show you that in a minute. The other thing that's important is that we actually only can take 12 of these fractionators and then they're going to be ideally producing a full 30 per second um, deuterium output if we were getting hydrogen continuously right um, now technically it's 12 and a half but the problem is if you go for 13 you're going to gem up, gem up your production lines because you can't take all the deuterium out um, out of here right uh, because then the 13th can't quite fit on you. So you have to, in this case, take the lower bound. Um, how did we come up with 12? Well, so the um, output rate is going to be, right? So we have 30 per second, four stacked, right? And then 0 0.02 proliferate. Uh, deuterium is getting produced. Um, uh, 0.2% of the 120 per minute uh, per second that goes through will go to the tuning, right? So that's 2.4 per second. So then if we divide 30 by 2.4, we get 12 and a half, right? Um, so that's why we need, we can only do 12, we can't take advantage of the half. So it's not gonna be producing full production lines, but it's gonna be pretty close. Um, and then we have our standard sort of um, after we have our 30 per second, we stack it, and then we take these. These are just um, splitters, and you press tab on them a few times, and then, you know, um, they become these vertical ones, and then we just am um, combining four lines that are stacked too high into two lines that are stacked four high here, and then they get combined and then get shoved into here. So, yeah, and then on the other side, which is a key thing to show you, actually a pretty simple solution. We just feed the um, hydrogen into another logistics station and then, you know, it goes away. Um, it just gets supplied locally and we have an incredible demand for hydrogen on this planet because it's our chemical planet such that we don't really have to worry about um, this hydrogen ever getting full. Uh, so yeah, that's how to do fractionation with proliferation and with stacking. Um, if you use a return line, the problem is, like if we look at this, right? The problem is that you somehow have to merge this, which could be anything. Right now it's like a single stack, but it could be anything. It could be double stack, could some could be triple stacked, as you can see. We'd have to merge that somehow with a line that's four stacked on the input. And that's really hard to do. Um, because it's uh, like, like the way that you could do it is that you could in, make sure that it's all single stacked and then sort of combine it up. 
But then the other thing that happens in the pilots is that they won't save any material for a long time. So if, if we're getting this kind of rate into a piler, um, it's not going to go to a double piled. Um, it's, it's just not going to work, right? So that's why this technique is really important and the return line doesn't work um, in the case where you have stacked hydrogen coming on the input. Um, so yeah, that's the guide. Um, this blueprint will be available in the um, description for you to use. So thank you for watching and until next time, bye.